Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to discuss on how we can create an invoice and do the payment for the invoice in accounting of OD16. For that, let me go to the accounting module. And here in the customers, let me create an invoice. So uh, I'll be adding the partner as Dequedict. And here you can specify the GST treatments. So you have different treatments here and you can add the treatment. You can also add the invoice date. So let me add it as to the state that is here. You can specify the invoice date. And here, if you have any payment reference, you can also add the payment reference for this invoice. And you also have the field to set the payment term for this invoice, if any. So you have different terms here. And if you want, you can create a new term. I'm not adding any payment term for this invoice. After that, you also have the field to use the journal for this invoice. So let me add the product to the order line for this invoice. After adding the product to the order line, you can just confirm it. So after confirming it, you can see the state of the invoice has changed to the post state. And let me do the payment that is rich to the payment. So once you click on the rich payment, you have a wizard here where you can choose the journal, the payment method, and you can see the amount. This is total amount, including the tax amount for the invoice. After that, just create the payment. And now you can see that this invoice is in, is in, in payment state. And if you go to the dashboard of the invoice here, you can see the payment status as in payment. And now let me show you how to change the payment statement status to paid. So for that, you need to reconcile this bank statement. For that, let me go to the dashboard here in the accounting module. And here you have the option to reconcile the bank statement. Let me create a new transaction from here. Let me add the table. And here as the partner, which I've chose for that invoice is recorded. Let me choose the same for the reconciliation here. And let me give the amount, that's total amount of that invoice which I've created. And here, if you have any multi-currency for a company, you can choose the multi-currency from here. You can see the all installed currency in your company. And you can add the bank statement. You can also add this journal from here. And let me save it. Saving it, you just click on the transaction and just validate it. So after validating it, if you go to the invoice, you can see the payment status of that invoice is changed to paid state. So this is how you change the payment status and you make it as pay. And you can also see the repayment has changed from in payment to paid state. And if you go to the reporting here, you have the invoice analysis. You can see the graphical view of the invoices that have made in your company. You can also change the measures to count, or you also have the option to see the total amount for the month. And if you change the view to the pivot table view, you can also see the pivot table view of this invoice analysis. And if you select here, you can filter it by the salesman. And you can see the salesman for the invoice here and you can see the status of the invoice. You can filter it by the status of the invoice. You can also filter it by the company if you have two companies. And here in the product categories, you can also filter it by the partners. And if you want to filter it by the measures, you can change it to account. You can see the count for each report. And if you want to see the total for each report, you can see the total of each reports here. And if you change the filter, you can see all the details for the invoice that you have created in your company. So it is really easy to see the invoice and take a report of the invoice that you have created in the company. So this is how you create an invoice and do the payment for the invoice that you have created in accounting of 4016.
that's all for today thank you